I'm Megan Hoff from Gathering Light Photography, and last week I asked you to ask me questions that you might have, the kind of questions that I get all the time at weddings or when I'm doing a portrait shoot, and I thought maybe I'd get two or three questions, but I got dozens of amazing questions, and I'm so excited to spend my time with you and answer them for you. So today I'm going to answer a question that several of you asked and that I get all the time. And that is how I got started doing this. How did I um, decide and become a wedding photographer specifically? And um, it's very easy for me to answer. I went to a friend, of, a good friend of mine's wedding back in 2002. And when I saw her wedding pictures, I was blown away. I, I didn't know that wedding pictures could look like that. I, I pictured my parents' pictures from the 70s you know, that are very professional, nice pictures, but um, are also very stiff and static and, um, you know, not that cool. So when I saw her pictures, they were these amazing documentary images that made you feel how you felt that day. You could see it in my friend's eyes. You could um, see her parents' reaction to her coming down the aisle. They were just beautiful. And I thought, wow, I want to do that. And um, at the time, I had taken a bunch of photography classes. I really fell in love with photography when studying journalism in college, but um, you know, had no experience, obviously, with wedding photography. So my husband and I were moving, and we were moving to Montana. So what I did is I um, emailed as many photographers as I could find in the area that we were moving to, and um, asked them if they needed an assistant, and told them I would work really hard and for free and uh, so that's what happened. I, I got uh, an email back from an amazing guy who ended up being a good friend, Keen Sperry from Eye in the Sky Photography and I couldn't have been luckier to have him as my mentor. If anyone is interested in getting into wedding photography, this is my number one recommendation to you. Find a wedding photographer who needs help. Um, doing whatever it is they do. My assistants come along, they hold lights for me, they help me get family members together, they uh, take extra shots uh, during the ceremony or the reception. Um, but if you are you know, assisting or being the second shooter at a wedding, you get this amazing opportunity to watch a wedding photographer in action and see all the different elements that make up a wedding day. And um, it's extremely important to be a good photographer and to have that technical skill. But it's equally as important to understand everything that goes into the wedding day and the emotions and the organization. So if you are someone who's interested in wedding photography, my advice is to find a wedding photographer who will let you carry their bag and hold their lights and come along with them to weddings and learn everything you can from that experience. It is worth it.